Now I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, welcome back everybody. This is Junior here at the runner's desk at Runner G. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about a longtime favorite from ASICS, that is the GT2000 series, version 11. Okay, so yeah, so the GT2000 version 11 update from last year's GT2000 V10. Um, let's see, what is different, what's been updated on this shoe? And of course, no surprise, the price is going up. I believe the version 10 was $130. This is going up to $140. Um, the weight, though, on the other hand, seems to go down. Not by much. I don't think you're going to notice. It's, uh, in the men's, it's going from uh, 280 grams to the uh, version 11 is going to be 275. So <laughs> I hope you noticed that five grams. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't think it's going to be a huge difference there. The stack height apparently does increase. I couldn't see exactly what the stack height increases to, but that's the thickness of the shoe. So the overall thickness of the shoe is going to be a little bit thicker. Um, not sure if you'll notice. I'm sure they didn't make it that much thicker. The upper is at least 50% recycled material. So that's really good. We're kind of seeing that on a uh, regular basis here going into 2023. Uh, so that's a nice, nice um, environmentally friendly decision from these shoe companies. And let's see here, the shoe comes in, uh, usually comes in many whips. So in the men's, typically you'll see a medium, a wide, or referred to as a double E, and an extra wide, or referred to as a four E. And in the women's, you typically will see a medium width, uh, a wide, uh, which is referred to, a medium width is referred to as a B width in the women's, and the wide, which is referred to as a D width in the women's. And occasionally you'll see a double A. I didn't see anything about a double A in the GT2000, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see if that happens in that, for that shoe. Um, but if you got a narrow foot, it's nice to have a narrow width. So uh, the other thing that I did notice is uh, the extremely uh, high number of color options in the men's, at least. The women's was still a lot, it was like five, but on the ASICS website, I saw, I am not kidding, like nine different color options in the shoe. So you got every color underneath the rainbow uh, and uh, maybe a few colors off the rocks here. That uh, is unbelievable. I, that's a lot of options. So you are for sure to find a color and shade and palette that works for your running style. Yes. All right, so here are some of the uh, little more technical features that are coming uh, that are on the GT2000 version 11. It is going to uh, flight foam blast. I believe if before it just had uh, flight foam, regular flight foam. I'm pretty sure it had flight foam blast on there before, uh, but for some reason my note says that it has uh, blast on there. But I'm pretty sure I think it had it before. It might be enhanced. It does look like it is definitely more responsive the foam that's on the shoe. So I will tell you that from just holding, handling the shoe and a little bit of the feedback from some of the customers. Uh, Cause again, remember we get most of our, our feedback here from actual customers trying on the shoe. So uh, it does look like it would be a little more, uh, a little more responsive from the midsole. Uh, you have a light stress construction IGS design for stability. That's that integrated guidance system that ASICS uses in the back of the shoe. You can see it on here somewhere in the back of the, this. Basically this area in here is a second or firmer density foam from the rest of the shoe here. Uh, it wraps around the shoe a little bit to kind of give you some more guidance throughout the whole foot strike. Um, there is gel in the rear, unlike I believe on the Kayanu, which I believe is gel in the heel and in the forefoot. Uh, the upper fits better on the new version 11, at least by what I've seen. And just even from look, when I first saw the shoe, my guess was that it was going to fit a little bit better. Uh, uh, the version 10 fit well, but there was always a some issues with the, with the upper on that shoe, not quite dialing in on the foot. This version 11 does look like it, it does fit a little more 
fitted to the foot, uh, which is really nice. It's got that jacquard mesh upper, which is nice. Also, you have the additional of a Har Plus carbon plug rubber on the outsole. That is, my friends, that's this black carbon in the back. Asics are, have historically have had a carbon rubber in the back here and maybe on the front tip or in the front here. That is to give you a little bit more durability as you kind of hit the heel and when you push off on the toe or on the ball of the foot here uh, for that kind of foot strike. A little more of a durable material and then more in the middle of the shoe here is more of a rubber compound which is softer a little more spongy, a little more responsive, not quite as harsh as these two, but not as durable as those two. So you get the two different compounds for what those two different areas need from your running. Okay, now, now since we kind of know some of the technical features of the new version 11, how it compares to the Kayano, the bigger brother, sister of the GT2000 series, um, how it compares to the version 10, it does look like the cushioning could be a little more, uh, not necessarily more cushy, but maybe a little more responsive, and the fit looks like it might be better. But the core question here is, who is this shoe for? Who should be looking at this shoe? Uh, well, it is a medial stability shoe, or uh, medial control shoe, which means it is designed for someone who lands most likely on the outside of their heel, back here, and then pushes off on this side of the shoe. So if you land on the outside of your heel, if you wear out on the outside of your heel, and you push out on, you know, where your big toe is over here, that's called pronation. And that means that you're kind of going from this side of the shoe to this side of the shoe. So the GT2000 is for someone who moderately over pronates, maybe a little bit more. So what other shoes would compete with that? Who would go into this shoe or consider looking at this shoe? That would be the number one shoe that comes to mind, of course, is the Brooks Adrenaline GTS. Those have been two big competitive shoes with each other for many, many, many years. And uh, they are more similar than they've ever been, I think. Uh, let me know if you want a video uh, comparison between the Brooks Adrenaline and the A6 GT. 2000 series, um, but other shoes that would compete would be like the Mizuno, Inspire, although that has a really different feel. That's a much firmer feeling shoe because the Mizuno plastic wave plate that's in there. You have the um, the Hoka Arahi, which is uh, in that same category, that medial control or medial stability shoe. Uh, that one's kind of different because you got the uh, kind of the Hoka thing going on with a little bit thicker stack height and the more cushioning kind of uh, in the Arahi, uh, but you also have that heel height difference in there. Uh, that good note on there, there is a, let's see here, I believe it's an eight millimeter stack height uh, or eight millimeter offset in the GT2000. I did forget to mention that. It's an eight millimeter offset, which is really nice. That is a little bit lower than say the Brooks Adrenaline. So that that is one good difference there. And the uh, another shoe that would be kind of, you know, hey, maybe you've had the GT1000, the little brother sister of the GT2000, and you're thinking of moving up, but you don't want to quite go to the Kayanu, the because uh, that you know maybe it's just more pricey or it's actually a little heavier. The GT2000 is that kind of nice sweet spot. So maybe if you're coming from the A6 GT1000, you want to get a little bit more support and you want to get a little bit more stability. The GT2000 version 11 may just be the right shoe for you. Anyway, this is Junior. You've been watching me here at the Runner G Runner's Desk. Uh, please, if you like the video, like it and subscribe and all that good stuff. Make sure you check out our, our website. I, I am adding some new stuff to the website at this point. And uh, also, we're on Facebook, Instagram. And as always, as I keep looking at my notes here, uh, make sure you live well and run well, run well and live well. Uh, you know what I mean. There you go. Okay. Okay. Living with COVID here. Huh? I'm doing the best I can. All right. Thank you so much. Happy running.